The addiction got so bad that even if I was having sex five times a day, it just wasn't enough for me. Truth or dare. Here's an unbelievable story about Maria, a woman with a hidden addiction, trapped in a marriage that's far from what it seems. Now, we will discuss her life with all the secrets and lies leading to a shocking crime. This is the story of a seemingly perfect relationship in Barcelona that takes a dark and unexpected turn. Maria and Antonio Navarro looked like the perfect married couple in Barcelona, Spain. Despite being nine years apart in age, they seemed happy together, but there was a big secret nobody knew about. Maria, the wife, had a hidden addiction to sex. When her husband started getting in the way of her wildlife, she made a chilling decision that he had to be removed. The police eventually uncovered the startling truth about what she did, and it left everyone completely stunned. Maria was born into a rich Spanish family on September 16, 1990. She grew up in luxury with her parents and four brothers and sisters. Thanks to her father's successful plumbing business, they lived very comfortably. Her religious parents named her Maria Jesus a name she didn't like. But from a young age, Maria was incredibly good at art, winning lots of art competitions with her paintings. As she got older, she started to care less about what people expected of her. After finishing high school, she left her small town life to study nursing in Barcelona. In this exciting city, Maria started to shine. She made new friends and loved the city's lively nightlife. She promised herself she would never go back to her boring hometown. While working at a hospital, Maria met Antonio, a skilled engineer who was also an old friend of her brother. Antonio was immediately captivated by Maria's beauty and fell deeply in love with her. They began dating in 2011, and for Antonio, it was his first serious relationship. Despite being nine years apart in age, they looked like the perfect match for everyone around them. After being together for five years, Antonio asked Maria to marry him, and they quickly planned their wedding. On September 3rd, 2016, they exchanged their wedding vows, ready to start a bright future together. However, hidden beneath the surface of their seemingly happy marriage were some deep and dark secrets. After their wedding, things started to change for Maria and Antonio. Maria felt trapped and controlled by Antonio, often complaining about how he dominated her life. At the same time, Antonio had his worries, thinking that Maria might be cheating on him and not being honest. They were very different from each other. Antonio liked to keep to himself and stay at home, but Maria was the life of the party, always out making new friends. Despite this difference, every Everyone around them was hoping they would work things out and find a way to be happy together. On August 16th, 2017, just 11 months after they got married, something terrible happened that changed everything for Maria and Antonio. It was around 7 a.m. and Antonio was getting ready to go to work. But as he got near his car, someone attacked him out of nowhere and stabbed him six times. Antonio fell and expired on the spot. His body lay there for eight hours until neighbors found him. The police got to the crime scene around 3.30 p.m. At first, they thought it might have been a robbery gone wrong, but they changed their minds when they saw Antonio's things, like his wallet, were still with him untouched. When Antonio's family, including his wife Maria, parents, and brothers, found out about his death, they were heartbroken and couldn't be comforted. The police started looking into what happened and first talked to Maria. They asked her if she could think of anyone who would want to hurt Antonio. The way the crime scene looked made the police think it was a murder that someone had planned, not just a random attack. Maria, who was overwhelmed with pain, said she couldn't think of anyone who would want to hurt her husband. Everyone who knew Antonio, including his relatives, friends, and co-workers, all said he was a kind and gentle person who didn't have any enemies. Just three days after the terrible scene, Antonio's family organized a funeral for him. During the service, tears were streaming down Maria's face. She read out a touching letter she had written to her late husband. She expressed her deep sadness and how much she missed him. Everyone was wondering the same thing. Who had killed Antonio? In murder cases like this, it's usual for the police to first suspect the spouse, so they started looking into Maria. But as they dug deeper, they found out that Maria was not as innocent as she was saying. When the police talked to Maria, she told them she had an alibi. She said she was at work the night before the murder and had even texted Antonio about changing her shift, but the police discovered she wasn't at the hospital that night. Also, Maria acted oddly during the questioning, even though she seemed upset about her 
her husband's death, she was always on her phone texting non-stop whenever there was a break. The detectives thought this was strange. The police felt that Maria might be keeping secrets, so they decided to tap her phone, hoping to find some clues. This move turned out to be a game-changer in the investigation. Five months later, on January 10th, 2018, the information they got from the wiretap led to the arrest of two suspects. The revelation of who these suspects were, along with the uncovering of Maria's hidden life, left everyone shocked. Maria was secretly dating a 43-year-old PR professional named Jose, who she met three months before Antono's murder. At first, the police thought Jose might have had a reason to kill Antonio, so they arrested him. But when they questioned him, they found out that Jose didn't know Maria was married when they started dating. He only learned about her marriage after Antonio's murder. Even with this surprising news, Jose forgave her. They kept seeing each other after Antonio's death, and Jose even thought about marrying Maria. After learning all this, the police decided Jose was not a suspect in the case. The phone tap also led to the police arresting Salvador, a 47-year-old who worked with Maria. Salvador, a dad to twin 18-year-olds and married for 22 years, was known by his colleagues as a polite guy. Maria and Salvador began their affair in September 2015, right after Maria got engaged to Antonio. They stopped seeing each other for a little while after Maria got married, but then they started up again. They would meet at Salvador's house or at the hospital where they both worked. Interestingly, Salvador's wife also worked at the same hospital. Salvador and Maria managed to fool everyone around them. Salvador was completely taken with Maria and would do anything she asked, no matter how big or small, even fixing things around the house. As the police investigate, the image of Maria and Antonio as the ideal couple completely falls apart. Antonio's brother became a key player in helping the investigation move forward. Maria and Salvador, not knowing their phones were tapped, fell right into a trap. Antonio's brother told Maria that the police were making big progress and had a new suspect in mind. Right after hearing this, Maria quickly called Salvador to tell him about it. The police had expected her to do this, which made them even more suspicious that Maria and Salvador were involved in Antonio's murder. Salva? Me han dicho que ya tienen al sospechoso con nombres y apellidos y yo imagínate, el corazón no me cabía, no me lo creía. Porque pensabas que... Pero bueno, no temas, ¿sabes? ¿No? No. Entonces, ¿la justicia qué? ¿Es una mierda? No, estás temiendo por mí. No temas, te lo digo yo, ¿vale? Me tendrían que estar investigando a mí y no me están investigando, ¿me oyes? Porque yo no soy sospechoso. Ya me habrían detenido. No te puedo decir nada más que te quiero. Ya, ya lo sé, ya. Lo hablaremos en persona, ¿vale? If this story inspired your curiosity, then please like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. So, following these developments, Maria was brought into police custody on the same day Salvador was arrested January 10th, 2018. But during her questioning, Maria strongly denied having any part in her husband's death. Jamás, nunca. ¿Pudo él entender que usted sí que hiciera...? No, si nunca hablamos de eso de Antonio. Hablaba de mis problemas con él, de mi matrimonio. Pero yo nunca he pedido que haga eso. Nunca. She blamed Salvador, describing him as a co-worker who was so in love with her that he did something drastic. Maria claimed that Salvador, who was overly obsessed with her, killed her husband, seeing him as a romantic rival, all to make his fantasies about her come true. Maria and Salvador were both kept in the same jail while they waited for their trial. During this time, Salvador's lawyer told him he should tell the truth about what Maria did, which could help reduce his guilt and punishment. But Salvador, still very much in love with Maria, wouldn't say anything anything, especially after getting a passionate love letter from her. In the letter, Maria wrote about how much she missed him, how much she loved him, and how she looked forward to being together again after they both got out of prison. Maria did some bad things to get a letter to Salvador. She was involved with other inmates, which upset Salvador. He decided to tell everything. They shared a secret. Maria wished Antonio, her husband, had died in an accident that he survived. So, they planned to kill Antonio. They chose August 12th. 2017 to do it and decided to use a knife. On the day of the big crime, Salvador was the one who did the shocking act. He cleverly hid the knife used in the crime in a septic tank, but the police found it later and knew it was the murder weapon. Everyone was curious about where Maria was the night before the murder. It turned out she was with another man, Thomas, all night. Maria and Thomas had been secretly seeing each other for a long time, even before she married Antonio. Thomas didn't want Maria to marry Antonio and asked her to be with him instead. 
dead, but she said no. When Antonio found out about Thomas, he was really upset, but decided to forgive Maria if she stopped seeing Thomas. Maria said she would, but she didn't stop seeing him. The night before the plan to kill Antonio, Maria and Thomas had dinner together. The next morning, as Antonio was getting ready for work, Salvador came on his motorcycle to do the terrible thing they had planned. He was all disguised, wearing a hat and glasses from Maria, and gloves so he wouldn't leave fingerprints. Salvador hid in the garage and waited for the right moment. When Antonio came, Salvador attacked him from behind and stabbed him six times. Antonio didn't even have a chance to fight back, to not make the police suspicious. Salvador just changed his WhatsApp profile picture, which was a secret sign between him and Maria. He quickly left, throwing away the knife and his bloody clothes. Later, Salvador and Maria secretly met at her sister's house to talk about what happened. They decided to not talk to each other for a while to get caught. After Antonio was murdered, Salvador thought he could finally be with Maria. But Maria didn't act like someone who just lost her husband. She went to parties and kept seeing other men, including Jose and Thomas. The police found out she was also seeing Sergio, a nightclub guard, and a nurse from the hospital. These men didn't know the real story behind Antonio's death. Sergio told the police that Maria didn't seem sad about her husband's death. Maria kept up with all these relationships until she got caught. People were shocked by how complicated her love life was. Salvador said Maria didn't care much about Antonio's death. She was more interested in the money she would get from his life insurance. Antonio had insurance that would give Maria $1,100 every month. And because he died violently, she would get an extra $47,000. Maria wanted to make sure she got as much money as possible. It looked like money was the main reason for everything she did. Even with lots of evidence against her, Maria kept saying she didn't plan her husband Antonio's murder. She admitted to having affairs, but denied being part of any murder plot. She told a story about meeting Salvador after the murder, but the police didn't believe her. They thought she was the mastermind and Salvador was just doing what she wanted. The big trial started on October 14th, 2020. The prosecutors said Maria should be punished harshly for planning the murder, lying, and not feeling sorry. The court told Maria she had to pay $250,000 to Antonio's family for legal costs. On November 18th, 2020, Maria was found guilty and got a 22-year prison sentence. Salvador, who did the murder, helped the police and got 18 years in jail. Maria's parents were heartbroken. They had thought she was innocent. Salvador's family was also upset. His wife, who worked with both Salvador and Maria, was shocked and divorced him. She had no idea about the affair and the crime. In prison, Maria didn't show any regret for what she did. She kept being social and lost interest in Salvador. She started secretly meeting with David, another prisoner, and also had a relationship with someone who worked in the prison kitchen. She used her charm to get things like cigarettes and wine from other inmates. Salvador was having a really tough time. His grown-up kids didn't want to see him anymore. He became very lonely and often cried. The prison staff, worried he might harm himself, kept a close eye on him for many months. Experts who checked on Maria found out she had a high level of psychopathy, which means she didn't really feel emotions like other people and often took big risks. This explained a lot about her actions and behavior, and that's the wrap-up of our story. It's a stark reminder that secrets and personal struggles can deeply affect our lives and relationships. It's important to be aware of the complexities of human emotions and connections. We're curious to hear your ideas on this story. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Stay aware and keep engaging. See you in the next one.